Hey everyone, welcome back to Split View. I'm Jordy. With me is Tom. Tom, beautiful Tom. You didn't yeah, say it. Yeah, I'm exactly. going to say it every time now. You haven't said it every time. I've, so. I, I said I'm going to say it you every said time. It at least now. twice. I have said it for the past two episodes, and okay. I'm going to keep saying it. Sure. All right. This episode is sponsored by Tom. Not yeah. sponsored, but he researched it. This so is it's sponsored his. by LastPass. Yeah. <laughs> which yeah. I would fucking love because I love LastPass. Yeah. Hit us up. So, uh, yeah, today we're going to talk about computer shit, because that's all I know. We're going to talk about, this is the list of topics, DRM, Denuvo, Homebrew, Jailbreakings, uh, Game Cheating, Right to Repair Bill, uh, Locked Features in Hardware, Planned Obsolescence, Intentional iPhone Slowdown, and Intentionally Bulky Code. Holy fuck, that's a list right there, my man. Well, do you, do you know the through line towards all those? Like, what they all kind of are about? It's all, like, planning to waste something, yeah, it's in a all, way. Yeah, all anti-consumerist kind of yeah, stuff. Yeah. Like, the idea that you don't own the products that you buy, you know? Yeah. Like, I can buy, um, I can buy a PS4 or something like that, and I can, you know, I... Sony would come after me if I jailbroke it. They they don't like me to run my own code on it. Yeah. Which is the the kind of... Which is... It's a strange idea. Like, I can... That'd be like if you bought a computer from Microsoft and they didn't want you to run games that were published by Sony on it. Like, you couldn't run... Yeah, it is a bit strange, isn't it? Yeah. It's... You, like, it's hard whether... It's a computer that you've bought and you can't run what you want on it. Yeah. Like, you're being limited. And uh, the way they try to, like, combat that is that... Sony's OS is, like, copyrighted and patented or whatever, so if you exploit stuff in their OS, they'll come after you and they could even, like, sue you or something. Wow. Shit. Even though you're just trying to, like, run code on a processor that you, quote-unquote, bought. Which yeah. Which is the kind of frightening thing is that you're not, like, licensing the hardware. Like, you're buying no, it. You just yeah. have the right to use it. That's, that's strange yeah, to me. Yeah, that's really weird that you put it like that. Yeah. Fuck, that's a trip. Yeah. That's so weird. And uh, by the extension of that kind of licensing issue is DRM, Digital Rights Management, which is where to play a game, you have to be authenticated. Like, you can buy a game, you can download it, you can't run it unless it talks to its home and it, like, asks to be run, you know? And uh, yeah. you've... I want to talk about something else called Denuvo. Do you, does that... No, that didn't click with me. Okay, Denuvo is a form of anti-DRM. Okay. Or, no, it's anti-tampering, anti-cheating, anti-copying. Basically, you've uh, you've experienced it. You've used DRM, I mean, this Denuvo DRM for Borderlands 3, I want to say. Okay. Oh, well, you have, like, basically in general, okay. if you've have bought a game on Steam, like, close to its release, then you've used Denuvo DRM. And even on consoles, I think it's a thing. But the problem with Denuvo DRM is that it slows down games. Like, it'll make them run clunkily because it's doing some sort of funky like encryption like when you run the game it loads itself into memory and decrypts itself live which is like a computationally like expensive thing so yeah. did you notice any like weirdness in Fallout I mean Borderlands 3 when you got it like did you inventory uh, glitch out sometimes like yeah items? it did actually yeah now that you mention it yeah that's this DRM like fucking with you like stuttering and all that like it just you can buy a game and it can just run like shit because the publisher wants to make more money. Yeah, I mean, the funny thing with that is, is like, even if you've bought it, yeah, and you do decide to mod it, they haven't even lost any money anyway. Yeah, I, I mean, if you choose, if you went into the code and found a way to like just give it infinitely to people, then that's yeah. different. But I don't think it really works like that. I'm not a coder or anything. You'll have to like tell yeah. me if that's stupid. <laughs> okay. But like theoretically there's got to be a way to like deactivate the whole like needing a key thing like just having a local version say if you don't have your internet on like you can yeah. just like give it to a friend yeah. and then it'll work they they do some crazy shit to try to combat that like every game gets cracked and it's on like skid row or like torrent websites and all that like what's that other like furry guy that torrent shit uh, oh, fuck I don't remember his I don't name know. he's one of the popular ones but uh like basically a week after games come out on PC they're cracked yeah. you know Yeah. and the thing is if you bought the game you're playing like this 
clunky ass like glitchy piece of shit and yeah. you bought the fucking game yeah yeah whereas the pirates they don't have that they have like a smooth experience yeah it's like when you uh if you have a pirate a dvd it just plays you know it just plays the movie yeah whereas if you buy the dvd for it there's the fbi warning there's the copyright yeah, notice, there's the, the uh, non-distribution thing there's like a crappy menu system. some ads and then they have the venue yeah yeah the, like the you're getting menu which no one has ever made a good dvd menu they no. all look shit there's a, there's some crazy shit going on with DVD menus. Essentially, there's a standard for those, and on Blu-rays at least, it's like a little computer. Like you can actually have games on Blu-ray menus and shit. I remember I used to play the Monsters Inc. one. We okay, had Monsters yeah. Inc. and they had a bunch of games on it. I used to play it. Yeah, there's also um like crazy examples of like early two thousands DVD menus for a for I think the Super Mario show. There's one with a uh, Inspector Gadget on it, and he what? just he speaks in like a really weird fucking accent. He's like click the button to go to the next page go <laughs> to the fit. menu button click the button and it's just it's literally just a Mario DVD with like Inspector Gadget guiding you on how to use the DVD <laughs> fair enough like they do some weird fucking shit with like DVDs they all look like slideshows <laughs> yeah cause it's running on fucking Java or something yeah that's 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 frightening to me too I hate Java and Java runs on so many things yeah like it's a, it's a terrible bulky piece of shit that people still continue hey that to ties use. into what you wanted to talk about what did I want to bulky, talk about? Bulky, bulky software. Oh, yeah. There's, so, do you do you remember the thing that happened with the iPhone battery a while ago? Yeah. So, there are, like, two sides to that. Like, actually, I want to hear what you think about that. Like, okay. what happened with it. Um, From what I remember, there was the whole thing where it sort of came out that they knew they were making batteries that weren't lasting. And they yeah. didn't really give anyone anything to do about it. They just sort of like, well, wait, once you get to a certain point, your battery can't handle... Well, the, the thing that they did, they would slow down the iPhone. The, well, the, the more war, where you get. Oh, yeah. right, because yeah. like the, they keep updating the uh, software. Not for, even that, no. not even that. They would literally detect the wariness on your battery, and if it was worn out, they would slow down the processor in the phone. Really? Yeah. What the fuck? To, like, give it more battery life to compensate so it runs slower, uses less power. Like, uh, okay, that's... therefore making it, like, almost useless. Well, yeah, like, it's, it's, people have long, like, thought, like, it's a popular thing, like, you know, you buy an iPhone a couple of years later, it's a slow piece of shit. Yeah. People think it's because of the iOS updates, which, yeah, it could be, but yeah. that's kind of fucked up that they're, like, intentionally slowing down their phones. That is very fucked up. And but that's that's the way they're uh, they're trying to rationalize it too is the battery de- degradation. They could just be doing it for the fucking hell of it, just yeah, to like get I'm, you to buy you know more what? phones. I'm almost certain they are. And yeah. You know what? They're fucking Apple. They can afford better fucking batteries if that's the problem. Yeah. They really can. Well, the thing is, they they make twenty billion dollars more if they use the shittiest batteries that like wore out. Well, yeah. So are they really hurting for that money? The, <laughs> the trillion dollar company or whatever. Well, I think the the whole iPhone thing is that you don't really buy the iPhone, you buy next year's, well, you buy, you buy the, the current year iPhone. Yeah, you buy the experience and you want to buy the experience every single year. Like, yeah. that's fucked up that there's, there's basically a new iPhone every year. I love how, like... It is just blatant consumerism, yeah, and everyone yeah. loves it. It's so... even I love it. Like I when when, when they come <laughs> yeah. out, and like, I hate that I like it too. Yeah, and then they come out, and I'm like, wow, man, that is a nice phone. I mean, and then yeah. I'll, I'll I'll go into like JB Hi-Fi, which is mm. like Australian Best Buy or whatever. It's pretty fucking good store, and it is pretty good. And I'll and they have like the phones on display there, yeah. and I'll go like, man, that's a nice looking screen. That mm. looks nice. And then I'm like, yeah, maybe maybe one day. And I was like, even the other day, I was in there, like, shopping for Christmas presents and stuff. Mm. I'm like, you know what? I could quite easily go to, like, that 11, but I'm like, nah, fuck that. That's not much, like, two and a half thousand dollars, dude. Literally, if you want to get, like, the best one, it's two and a half grand. So fuck that. You've used an iPhone. You know what it's like. I know what it's like. You don't want it. Yeah, I do. I I, I just get bored of what I use every day. So you want to use something that's bland and you can't do shit with? (laughs) Whatever it is, I'm going to get bored of it. So, like, I just just need to change it. That's why I always go between them. Okay, sure. Yeah. Anyway. I do the same thing, to be honest. Like, I bought the Note 10, like, when it came out, essentially, because yeah. it's a fucking good phone. I yeah. love it. It's, like, the best phone I've ever had. Yeah. And I came from, like, a pretty decent phone as well. Yeah, they're good. They're good uh, Good shit, for sure. Yeah. But uh, with, with Apple as well, they, um... You know jailbreaking, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, that's the same kind of thing with the consoles. Like, hey, I want to, like, do shit on my phone, and... 
Apple's not giving me this experience. Let me like hack into the phone and then add the things I want. And then people get angry about that. Yeah, that's kind of fucked. I don't, I don't like yeah. that. Now that you've like said it in so many words, I like, I guess I'm a consumer. I didn't really think of it like that. Well, the the counter argument, which I somewhat agree with, is that if you if you hack an Xbox 360 right to like make it run faster, like you can somewhat speed up the process, or like you know add in a custom title screen, like a home dashboard that you like, or I don't know, add a crosshair like on permanently on the screen mm-hmm. you you're inviting cheating you know well yeah that's that's one thing yeah. and you're you're inviting piracy as well that's true so i was wanting to know whether you, whether you think it's worth it like home so, doing things in their eyes what they're doing is like going to the the maximum degree to just make sure nothing happens and to do that they just like shut literally everything off yeah and just like you get what 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 we're selling you that's all you get that's what you yeah. can have and i agree and i disagree i think because if they they're just probably purely doing it because they want it to be just they know everyone's going to have a fair time if no one can do anything about it yeah right like yeah. it's safe level playing field level playing think. field exactly and on consoles like that's a lot more important as well like mm. you don't have if you're using a pc you've got like a little bit more whatever yeah. control and all that sort of stuff but if you're on xbox like you what you have is your hardware that's it yeah. like everyone has the same hardware so if you've put a fucking titan in yours somehow okay. and you know and everyone else has the whatever the fuck i don't even want to know what's in an xbox one probably like yeah. a fucking 1030 or it's something like an rx 580 or something like it's a decent amd gpu okay. yeah but like I, I don't know i don't like the f- now that you've said it it just sort of pisses me off like when you buy things you can't get the full amount from them yeah you just especially like not everyone's gonna want to do that yeah like me I, I haven't given any second thought about mm-hmm. it until you just said it but like for you and other there's plenty of fucking people who will want to do more with it but like yeah. are scared that they're gonna get fucking sued or something yeah, that's like, like that's 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 fucking that's shit. That's you can't do that. I just it's 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 really strange to me. I just really don't like the idea of that. Like, cause if you like think about it like a computer, like I was saying before, like you're buying a computer and just they're limiting what you can do with it. It's your hardware. You bought it, and they just say no. I don't want you to do this. You can't do this. Yeah, it's like if you bought a PC, and they said, but you can't put anything else in it. Yeah, well, that's, like it like a MacBook. Yeah, exactly. That's, yeah, that's, yeah. that's kind of like what... a Mac. There's actually I want to talk about talk about the right to repair bill as well. Do you know kind of what that's about? Is this the whole thing where, like, the is this the Apple related one oh, where yeah, they yeah, they don't absolutely. fix shit? Yeah, unless yes. it's very specific problems or whatever. Apple have a fucking tirade on repairs. So do you know a guy called Lewis Rossman, like on YouTube? I've heard the name. I think yeah. yeah. He's he's kind of he's he's a very big advocate in this. He runs a shop. Uh, that repairs iPhones and uh, app MacBooks, Apple products on a component level. Like, he can go into this, like, he can open up the MacBook and the entire MacBook's all soldered down. Like, you can't replace anything, like, not even the RAM in some cases. If you, like, the even the SSD is tied to the actual processor. Jesus. Like, you cannot change the SSD, you not, cannot upgrade it, you cannot even extract data from it in, like, certain circumstances. So, this guy, Lewis Rostman, he repairs, like, components and that. He'll go in, he'll find, like, a busted capacitor, he'll just pick it up, put it back down, he'll repair traces, and Apple are, like, fighting him every single step of the way. Like, he'll want to get new are. parts, like, a new, uh, like, touchscreen processor, like, chip or something. He'll go try to find it from Apple. They'll say, no, we, we're not going to sell you this. So he has to buy up old MacBooks and just, like, donor, donor boards and just rip pieces off of it. Or he has to go to, like... He has to go to the people who are actually qualified to do this and get, like, special treatment from a- Apple to do this, and he has to, like, buy parts off them shadily. And essentially, Apple, what they want you to do, they want you to come to their store and pay $2,000 because off. a single capacitor broke on your board. Jesus Christ. And do you know what else? You're going to lose your data. Data's oh, gone. Oh, nice, nice. They're not going to give you any option to extract your data, take Jesus out the SSD, anything. Christ. You're going to pay $2,000 because you spilt, maybe spilt like a drop of water on your MacBook. Maybe it just died because that's what Apple's yeah. Mac products do. That's a real thing. They just die. Because they get hot. And the thing they do is, get well, very hot, yeah. Yeah, in the new, uh, one of the newest generations of MacBook Air, 
if you plug in a USB device, the entire computer slows down. Because it can't, like, multiplex between the two of them. Jesus like, Christ. Is that a product that's worth, like, two or $3,000? No, absolutely not. And even that much to repair it as well? Yeah, fuck that. You might as well buy a new fucking laptop. Ex- that's what they want you to do. Of course it is. Of course that's it literally is. what they want you to do. Uh, see, like, the thing is, is, like, they're not even that good. They're, when it, like, they're good. Like, they, they're good. They're not great, The though. environment and the experience is good. Yeah, there's, You're paying enclave. for that. Yeah. And, I mean, if you've got an iPhone and then you buy the MacBook... And then all of a sudden, your tech starts showing up yeah. on on your automatically. You do that, no, I know, but automatically without that doing now. anything, it starts yeah. showing up on there. Okay. And then then you're getting your emails and all that stuff. Yeah. And then it's just like, oh, this is pretty snazzy. Mm. And then you get you get the uh, the Apple TV. And then, yeah. and then and then and then all of a sudden, everything you have is on there, and you have to buy this new laptop exactly, yeah. because everything yeah. in your house is fucking AirPlay. Yeah, you get like, fucking trapped into it. That's yeah. why they're the first trillion dollar corporation is that they fuck over the customers and repairs. They like control yeah exactly and they the thing they've mastered is that people will fight for them yeah if they have like a bad experience like their laptop breaks or something they'll be like oh i love apple so much even though i had to replace my laptop two times they're just so good yeah like people will fucking fight for them that's insane it's so funny when you like when you have the whole like someone will for some reason this still happens say like oh my god you have an android It's like, no one has ever said, like, oh, my God, you've got an Apple. Yeah. Because we don't fucking care, really. Yeah. Like, if it's just, like, it's the only people who are like, oh, you don't have this thing. You're not a part of this experience. Yeah. Fuck you, peasant. The thing that gets me is that iPhones are, like, overpriced, I think. That's not me, like... They are. Yeah. That's not really my, like, oh, iPhones suck kind of pin. They are, like, they have great processes. They have the best mobile processes, but what are they doing with it realistically? Like playing YouTube videos, watching Facebook, yeah, yeah. playing games maybe, yeah, sure, but uh are everyone is everyone like using these high performance applications though? Like No, no, of course not. You, like you know, people like boomers essentially, like people over forty old grammars, they buy like two thousand dollar iPhones. Yeah. Just to like use them for Facebook. Like and to I play Sudoku and uh, Yeah. The occasional game of Bloons Tower Defense. Yeah, I just don't get that. Which is probably the most action it ever sees. That, like, I the i the iOS system is great though. Like, it's it is a great system. It is it's nice. it's simple, but it does things really well. Like, yeah. it's it's very easy to use, and it runs well. Yeah. Like, I reckon, like the iPhone SE, the uh, cheaper one. I Apple should always make like a cheaper alternative. I think they are from now on. Like they have, they have a cheap version of the X, which has like colors. It's like not even cheap. It's though. not cheap. <laughs> it's it's like cheap compared bucks. to the, uh, the the high tier one, which yeah. is like literally two and a half, like almost Galaxy Fold te- territory. Yeah. Mm. And they sell those at GB Hi-Fi now. I know. I saw calls. that. I well, was so tempted. Like yeah, no though. But like, they, they yeah. are nearly like well, they're like three grand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. three grand. Well, you're buying two phones, <laughs> I guess. That's. F- I, I want to talk about it for a second. Yeah. I do not like their implementation. Like, so you, it the screen is on the inside, right? And you close it, and you have this like tiny ass screen that has a huge fucking bezel. Yeah. Why? I don't know. Why though? Why? I do think you... it looks so fucking yeah. stupid, and we do not need it at all. Like, l- if this catches on, which it is, Jordy, it, it is, is catching on. Yeah. But like, if if this is what everyone has in the future, I'm gonna be like, what? Well, it's gonna be. It surely it's gonna be better by then, though. Like my in in my mind, the perfect fold device would be screen on like both sides. Like yeah, and you can fold it like halfway, so it's the normal size of a phone. It's yeah. like bezelless, and you can open up to be a tablet. Yeah, that's like the. Per- I think Huawei is making something like that. That's the perfect one. That would be good. Yeah, I, like, I'll give you that. Like if you yeah. want to watch a video, you open it up and you whatever you want to yeah, play a game yeah, it's like or a, something. It's like a portable tablet that you can yeah. And if down. not, when you every day you can still fit it in your pocket. Yeah. Of your like skinny jeans and not have to worry about ripping them and then like all that other shit. Mm. I don't know. I think it just looks a bit silly as well. Have you seen the new Motorola Razor concept? Is that the flip phone? Yeah. Yeah, that's fucking awesome. I love that. Yeah, I I, I think it's so cool. I'm like, so tempted to like. I don't know. They're either. not that expensive. I think they're like 200 bucks or something, aren't they? 200 bucks, Jordy. More like 2,000. Fuck off. <laughs> they're going to be expensive. Fuck off. $2,000. Ye- something like that, Jordy. It's the a flip it's, phone. It's a folding phone. No, it has a folding screen. Oh, like it flips up like a flip phone. Yeah, though, no, it's, it? a, it's a new one. They're making oh, a new one. Oh, okay. Oh, you're talking about the old one. They do have one which has like a screen. Yeah, and... I had one when I was a kid. That's oh, the Motorola nice. Razor. That's, that's awesome, yeah. They're making a new one. It's a, uh, there's like, 
a big wave of the tech review is going to this Motorola event, and it's it's that, but with a folding screen. That's cool. Yeah, so you can That's cool. you can satisfyingly click like hang up people, and I don't. The thing is, it unfolds to like the size of like the aspect ratio of like my Note Ten Plus or yours. Like it's just tall. Like hmm. it's not really a tablet. It's just kind of unfolds. I mean, you can't really watch anything on that. I mean, it would. It's probably twenty one by nine, so you could tilt it sideways and watch like anamorphic movies like it'd probably be good for that huh. and it's like, uh it's like widescreen if you pull it put it really close yeah. to your face <laughs> like vr what if the, yeah what if they made like an uh, attachment for that like something that clicks onto it like that'd be great i mean if ever there VR. was a device that was like ready for it and just like <laughs> slot into something and yeah. be like Woo. you would have like ned kelly vision though since it's like a, a horizontal <laughs> slot ned so. kelly vision. yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah that have you which way do you drive to my house because if you go down the main road there is like a house with a huge monument of ned kelly i do not drive down that road because yeah. i would know <laughs> like literally here there's just a huge monument of ned kelly in someone's back i mean front yard that's funny no, it's I, like is that the only thing that australia has of, that's close to like a know. like a "Quote unquote patriotic icon." <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Yeah, like not even every, any, half of the people listening to this aren't even gonna fucking know who that is. Like, that yeah, it's not really. We don't have schools. anyone. My grandma got angry that I didn't know these like famous like patriot people, and I was like, "What the?" Yeah, They're Australia's like, not really that big yeah. on like realistically, patriotism. Realistically, like we're a nation of criminals. Matter? Who much? cares? Yeah, yeah, we're all criminals. Yeah, pretty much. I'm not there. I'm a I'm first generation English. So. That's true. I'm a criminal, yeah. and I'm also a Dutchman. Yep. Oh, so I steal like clogs, and I'm tall, criminal. but I'm not tall. Okay, sure. Oh yeah. Uh, what else? Uh, I also wanted to talk about hardware locking. So, do you know um, when you buy Intel processors, there's a K series processor? Uh, like, I, I believe you. Like you can have <laughs> i7 6000 k right? Okay, yeah. And there's the normal one. What that is is that. They're both the same processor, but you pay a hundred or two hundred bucks more for an unlocked one that you can overclock. What the fuck? Yeah. So if you don't buy the K one, you're buying a product that has overclocking support in it. It's just locked. That's that's yeah. no, that's fucked. I don't. And uh, at one point, they tried to like alleviate this kind of like if you bought one of the non K series, you could pay money to Intel, and then they would send over some like super secret secret program that would unlock it on your processor people uh, got really angry about that i can imagine yeah. why but the thing is that's still a thing like technically you could still do that but they just don't because Surely it's like a bad it's idea more effort to do that than to just give it out with overclock ability surely well, you have to go out of your way to do that yeah but they want to make money joy yeah <laughs> like i don't why do they sell the non-k version in the first place i don't fucking know who's gonna be like nah i don't want to touch it i just like i guess it's like free performance like theoretically you could take a lower version one and clock it up to like a higher more expensive one but even then that's like risky and you need cooling and all that but i mean if you're looking at processes you know something about computers yeah, which means yeah. you're probably going to overclock it which yeah. means there's no reason to do it. Whereas uh, on AMD side, like every processor they make is unlocked. They don't, oh, they're just go. cool people. Like point AMD. Yeah. This is a, this is another scary. You know how I was talking about like just then unlocking the CPU, right? Mm. That that inside Intel and AMD CPUs is a little computer essentially that is completely locked off. It has access to your Ethernet and is always on. Okay. Yeah. Why? No one knows. What? No one knows, Jordy. They, they call uh, it the Intel Management Engine, and it is some deep cover, like, you'd you'd get assassinated talking about this kind of shit. Because, okay, good thing we're talking about it publicly. Well, I'm not talking about any details of it. <laughs> like, not real details. Like, you can find stuff, but... It's, like, there was, there was a thing a while ago with certain processors. If you had your PC off, and it was plugged into Ethernet, you could hack into the PC while it was off. What? Yeah. Because that little processor inside of the the cpu it it is always on it has standby power and it has direct asset access to the ethernet jack on the motherboard so even if you're like not even plugged into the power oh no you're plugged into the power but your pc's off right the switch okay, is so on the power, still power on, going to it yeah. just how you power off a pc normally yeah but it's still connected to the internet fuck that's isn't that terrifying freaky? that's like the, that's how they do the um, and some info steal and shit right there yeah, yeah that's For real. the thing is the nsa has a big list of vulnerabilities and hacks to do with this intel me engine 
So they could they could do some pretty fucking shady shit to your processor, Jordy. Like if they wanted to know shit about you, with your computer being fucking off, they can install like a virus onto it that'll track your information and send it back to them. I tell you what, there's one thing about doing this show yeah. every week, and that is that I'm, I feel comfortable a lot of the time. Okay. You know, like, yeah. just in everyday life, like, everything I find out on this show, I just feel comfortable, yeah. you know? Like, I feel good about it. <laughs> I'm feeling good about all yep. this, you know? Like, just the fact that... Mm. I mean, in reality, all they're going to steal is, like, oh, my middle name is Sam, well, which is kind of funny, they I guess. Steal, the thing is, they can steal passwords from you, and they could, like, log into your yeah, social media. I'm sure the CIA wants to log into my, like, bank account oh. with, like, my... Three hundred dollars. They in could it. cut it. Like, if you're a political person, they can cut it. They can try to smear you. They could like create conversations of you speaking to like ISIS, essentially saying like you support them and did these bombings and stuff. They could frame you because your computer was like on mm. standby. Jeez, yeah, that's fucked up. And that AMD is... does this too. This is if AMDs oh, are even sake. like more secretive because no one AMD are like less you know known processor wise like. That's just a thing that, like, in my laptop right now, that's a thing. Wow. That's fucked, like, in what? your... Do you want to know something as well, like... It's in my phone too, isn't yes, it? Yes, but it's fucking even it. it's even crazier, because what is your phone connected to right now, Jordy? Uh, your computer? Fucking cell towers. Oh. And it has battery power that you can't shit. remove. You can't remove the battery in that, Jordy. And I've got, like definite microphone in there yeah, and yeah. camera. Really good microphone, Joey. Yep. Microphone good enough to use like Google Assistant from like meters away. Fuck and yeah, a bunch dude. of really Fuck good cameras yeah. in there, Joey. I'm feeling so comfortable right yeah. now. And uh that's that's essentially you have a phone and the CPU has something called like it's connected to something called a baseband processor. Which is the little computer I see thing that interacts with the cell towers. And that right. is that is copyrighted like private closed source code so no one's allowed to see what it's doing so okay. it could be doing anything cool and it's just on cool 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 it's cool. just literally like it could be doing anything that's fucked up to me Why? that's really frightening what the fuck why does <sighs> huawei has actually been caught exploiting this i'm sure so this is this, this is why there was a ban on them that's one of the reasons yeah Wow, okay. Yeah, it's serious enough for, for, like, Australia and a bunch of other countries to ban their products. Fuck. And do you know what as well? Do you know what else What else Huawei makes? What? They make the fucking rack servers that slot into cell towers. Oh, cool. So they're at, like, every single point, and they make network switches that are connected to the, the uh, towers. My... They make routers that are connected to, like, cell tower networks. They make everything. They've, they've, they've done their homework. They, they know make what a lot doing. of network products, Jody. Yeah. Yeah. Is yeah. that is that cool? I feel very safe. Yeah. Very uh very good. Well no, let, let's kinda of pivot off of this, Jordy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, kind of, yeah, good call. I have I might some other cry things soon. to say, but you know, it's just more of the same conspiracy shit. Fair enough. But actually no, I have another one that's kinda of fucked up. Hit me with it. So I think it's Huawei. Uh so when like I am studying to be an electrical engineer and when I make a circuit I pick components like Oh, I want to have something that can convert 12 volts to 5 volts. Oh, I want to have a like a little processor to blink an LED or to like, you know, listen to a remote control or something. I'll go to Mauser, which is like a, a circuit supply website. I'll type in what I want and I'll just pick a processor, right? Hmm. What Huawei would do is they would intercept the uh, the orders from like big companies and take the chips, reverse engineer them, and then put in little secret like no. spy computers into them what the fuck and then that order would arrive to these big companies like fully sealed and everything they would put them in their their little fuck, electronics fuck dude and those electronics probably connect to the internet jordy uh, yeah huawei have what the fuck does huawei want with it might not stuff? be exactly huawei but this is a thing that actually happened recently oh my god and it doesn't even have to be like a processor like some like if you have like a temperature sensor that's connected to like i2c which is a data line and there are exploits and stuff. Like, you can buy a temperature sensor that's, like, fucking tapped, essentially, and, like, oh, has a virus on it. Nice. That's fucking, like, that's insane. That's, that's some, like, that's... 90s hacker level shit. Yeah, what the fuck is the point? Why? Yeah. What What are you trying to steal so bad from well, me? Because Huawei, like, very closely associated with, like, the Chinese... So, yeah. Yeah, I guess. China likes their information, as we talked about in that one episode. They sure do. But, uh, yeah, so what I was going to pivot to is is kind of the idea of locking features in hardware. So another... I was talking about the locked processor thing. 
Another um, example is, you know, the company Fleer? They no. make thermal cameras and stuff. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, you've probably heard, like, YouTubers reviewing those yeah, little yeah. snapping modules. So, in the... Um, oh, fuck. Knocked my phone. In the uh, the kind of building assessment area and uh, scientific community, Fleer are, like, the choice vendor for thermal cameras, and they make something called the E4, which is like a handheld camera and it has different models like it starts out with like a 32 by 32 pixel one which doesn't sound like a lot but it's like this it's, is the one that's like illegal isn't it or like like you or like this there was something that was you are, you can't export you can't export thermal cameras above 9 hertz like 9 frames per second because you if you had a it. 60 frames per hertz second thermal camera that'd be fucking devastating like, yeah you could murder people in the pitch black yeah but uh yeah these the, i'm not specifically talking about that but you can buy like to unlock that frame rate right like it starts mm. off at nine frames per second 32 by 32 and they're different models like the e5 e6 e7 thing is those are all the same hardware oh you buy a e4 and you get the exact thing as an e7 Except the E4 costs like a thousand dollars and the E7 costs thirty two thousand dollars. Holy fuck! And uh, it's just locked by software. That's it. What? Or hardware even? Like the little sensor in it can receive two hundred and fifty six by two hundred and fifty six pixels or even more. It's just locked in the firmware to only receive thirty two by thirty two. That's moronic to me. And you there have is to literally pay. no difference. Yeah, that's just blatant money grabbing. Well, do you, do you like, know what it is though? It's because it's cheaper to manufacture. You don't have to make eight different products. You make a, you can make a one and just lock it. The, like the thing is, they're selling the cheaper one for cheaper. Like it's not like they're selling it for thirty two thousand dollars. Like you but, buy it for a thousand, and maybe some guy you know can unlock it. But but if you've already made it, yeah, with this, like you have to go out of your way. To lock it at eight different stages. Do you Just know what, fucking release it. Do you know what the real, like, part about that is? It's, the sensor is so cheap that they can make it for $1,000. And yet they are selling it for $32,000. That's that's the real shitty part about God that. God fucking damn it. Dude. Yeah. It's like, I mean, I don't know how intricate it is, but it reminds me of, like, red cameras. Which, I, I mean, yeah. like, someone, uh, was it Linus, who did, like, oh, a... Oh, the MSATA thing? Yeah. That's fucked up. I don't like that. They're, yeah. I, I like red cam... Like, I'm not a fucking filmmaker. If I did have, like... If I was a millionaire, I'd probably buy red cameras yeah. just to fuck around with them. I've, like, messed around with red camera footage in, like, DaVinci, but... Mm. Yeah, like, what you were gonna... What you were saying, well, mentioning, was the the red magazine, like, SSD cartridge yeah. thing. Yeah. They sell them for like thousands of dollars, like 960 gigs, like proprietary things with that like weird connect on. You have to buy them from Red, right? And they were like, oh, you know, you're buying these because the reliability, you know, they, they're much faster than generic media. But it turns out all it is is literally a standard MSATA SSD that's literally in my laptop right now for like a hundred bucks in an adapter. Yeah. In a, in, a, in a nice yeah. looking case, that's it. Yeah, and I th I'm pretty sure they were like upwards of like five, six thousand dollars or something. Oh yeah, yeah, they're like, expensive. Like if you get the 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 proper top tier one, well, yeah, I think they sell them in packs. Like I think the most expensive one is like a thousand bucks or something. Right. You can buy a pack that's cheaper or something on Red's website. Fucking stupid. But yeah, that's 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 fucked up, isn't it? I, d I it is. They fucked still up. sell them as well. Like they they the Red like. People presented this to, like, the, the Red, you know, founder dude, and he was just like, oh, no, we use proprietary firmware and all that, and it's like, no. Someone literally tricked a standard SSD into, like, working in a Red camera. Yeah, yeah. Like, that was a lie, and they can still do that, and they claimed it was made in America, which, no, it was, the SSD was fucking, like, assembled Taiwan, in, like, Taiwan. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. yeah. See, if it's just, like, if, if, for me, I don't know all this stuff. Yeah. So, like, when, when... I'm just aimlessly going about this expecting everyone else to know better. Yeah. When in reality, I should know better in knowing that, yes, they do know better, mm. but that's why I shouldn't trust them. <laughs> okay. You know? I like, guess so. Like, like, if... I don't know any, like, big company, yeah. air quotes, that's, like, ethical. Oh, yeah. Because you can't like, make money you being can't. ethical, Julie. You can't. Yeah. yeah, you can't. Like, I'm try I'm literally trying to think of one right now. And well, I you cannot can make money. You money. just can't make a lot of money. Yeah, you yeah. can't. You to to make money, you need to exploit something. Exactly. A yeah. gap in the market, mm -hmm. a certain product that people need. You need to exploit that, and to make more money, you need to exploit it further. Mm. And like, 
but when it comes down to the fact that like they're literally going out of their way for like those e cameras, like the thermal yeah. ones, just just if they released it with the full capabilities, more people will buy it. Yeah, that'd be, and they will make that money back anyway. There is such a monopoly on thermal cameras; like they're not hard to make. Like it's some complex science. Like essentially, the pixels are like little temperature sensors, but. Thermal cameras are so fucking expensive. Like, yeah. holy shit, they're expensive. To be fair, that's probably a good thing. Yeah, oh, yeah. Like, this. Like, well, there's the export re- regulation thing. Like, you can you can buy a thermal camera it'll just be capped at 9 frames per second if you're not a scientist or I something. I mean, if you're really set on doing it, yeah. you'll find a way. It's like the same yeah, thing how, yeah, like, yeah. there's still guns in every country. Yeah, there's exactly. still coke. Yeah. There's still... 3D printer gun, Jordan. Yeah. Except no, because it'll blow up instantly. Yeah. Because, you know, plastic can't handle fucking the explosion of a cartridge <laughs> <laughs> i'm sure we'll see um what's his name michael reeves try it oh yeah yeah he blows his hand off or something <laughs> okay there's probably youtube videos of it i'm sure yeah. yeah i remember that one where he like hooked up an airsoft gun to shoot him when he got shot in fortnite yeah. that was funny yeah that was like yeah. what took off his channel i'm what i want to say oh was it yeah uh, I'm, I'm a late comer i only sort of started watching him like a couple yeah. months ago anyway <laughs> what this podcast <laughs> is about okay yeah Oh yeah, what, a, what a, I was talking about the right to repair bill, and I kind of pivoted yep. off. So yeah, this this the thing about Apple like refusing to repair and like cost you know charging thousand bucks to repair something. Fucked. Fucked. Uh, what this bill is is the uh, they want Apple to provide, will make make things easier to repair essentially. Like instead of soldering down the memory, instead of soldering down the SSD, and like having proprietary like firmware and locking and all that, they want it to be easier to repair. And they want Apple to provide manuals on how to repair. Because, like, it used to be that you would buy, like, a piece of hi-fi equipment and you would open up, like, the back of it and there'd just be a schematic yeah. on how to, like... And even a troubleshooting guide on, like, oh, if this happens, you can repair it this way. That's yeah. consumerism. That's, like, wanting people to fucking, like, buy your product because you make yeah. good products that... You care about it. ...that last and you care about people, you know? Yeah. So, yeah, this right to repair bill, like, they want Apple to... You know, to like fucking like actually care about their customers and their products. Is that actually going anywhere? This whole debate. It's been in like legal limbo for ages. Like Lewis sure Roth- Rossman, the guy I talked about who repairs them, he actually spoke like at some Boston meeting or something like against this like asshole woman who was like, uh, "Customers don't need to repair things. They can just go to Apple, you know, certified people and pay yeah. to like, get it repaired." Fair enough. Mm. Clearly, someone who's never had a money problem in her life yeah because she's being fucking paid to shill (laughs) yeah like i i don't know i I think the problem i have with like if you want to make a product and you want people to use the product the way you designed it i can understand that i can Mm. if you spent all this time like thousands and thousands of man hours trying to do make your dream come true and you want people to experience it that way i can understand it if that's the basis for it if yeah. the basis is I want you to experience it this way because we can make more money if you only do it this way, <laughs> yeah. then like, fuck that. Like, if you're going to extra lengths, like those thermal cameras, like mm. all these extra things to lock CPUs or whatever, purely because you want to sell two different types for yeah. fuck all, like you don't want to do anything else, so you yeah. just like write eight different programs so that you can sell it at eight different like, mm. eh, fuck that. That's stupid. Like, if if you just if you Make the product the way you want to make it. People will buy it because yeah. they can tell if you make a you've good, reliable it product at a good price. People will be all over that shit. Exactly. You know? Like yeah. just, just make it, make it good. And then, if you want to like make a more expensive thing, put more time and effort into yeah, exactly. it. Exactly. You don't have to. You you can still have like profit margins. Like you don't have to. Of course. Fucking like sell it for its like base skew value. Like yeah. still make money. Just yeah. Make you have product. to make money off things. Yeah. Like we everyone understands that. Like mm. you you're not gonna. If you know if you buy a pack of chips at the server, there's a reason why it's like five bucks when it probably only cost about like five cents to oh, make. Hey, I, I don't know if I've I've talked to you about that, this before. Did I talk to you about the thing with chips and air? No. So uh, you know how you get a bag of chips and it's like filled with half with air, yeah. right? You know that you know how air like if you leave a bag of chips open, it goes stale. Mm. What's in bag What's in bags of chips, Jordy? Air. But doesn't air make chips yeah, go stale? Yeah. What the fuck? What's in bags of chips, Jordy? It's not just air, then. No, it's not air. What is it? It's nitrogen. What? Yeah. Well, the air is, like, mostly nitrogen, so... Yeah. I just thought that was a quick little huh. like, interesting thing. I, I was thinking about that the other day. I was like, wait a minute. Doesn't oxygen, like, 
you know, make chips go stale. What the fuck is in chip pack packets then? What the fuck? That's so weird. Yeah, yeah I yeah. just nice. Just, just kind of blew my mind the other day. Yeah, yeah. What were we saying though? <laughs> I can't. Remember. I was just like going fucking ranting about oh, how yeah. stupid things I, are. The thing with that as well is that Apple kind of makes their products in a way where they don't care if they break after a couple of years. No. Yeah. And they don't have to. They are literally yeah. lying on People beds of money. Yeah. Like. They could come out with the, like, I don't give a fuck, <laughs> yeah. and people would people buy it. Would buy it. Exactly. <laughs> there would be, even be a few people who would buy it unironically. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Like, it, it would, like, all, imagine all the YouTuber videos who make it, and then all the kids want an yeah. I don't give a fuck. Didn't Supreme make, like, a fucking crowbar or something? They made a brick. That? Wow. <laughs> they made a brick. Wow. And they sold for about $10,000 after, like, mm. like, for resale and stuff. It was a literal nice. brick. They, Supreme has done literally everything they just slap <laughs> they slap the exact same like that png they have on yeah, anything yeah and then they'll sell it they probably have some sort of computer program like an ai just generating oh, shit. <laughs> I, I wouldn't even be surprised yeah. like uh, and there was a i'm glad i never found anything but there was a time when i was into the whole hype beast thing and yeah. i was like oh man maybe i could uh get some supreme shit but like that shit's fucking expensive mm. and there is no reason for it there is no ingenuity there it's just yeah. pure hype beast follow-up it's like culture a, like yeezy stuff kanye west is literally like that's pretty much died out though the whole like, yeezys thing he, yeah not even that like he would sell clothing that's like literally ripped yeah, up he with went, holes he, in it that went so bust that yeah. company there yeah. that's one of the times where it actually didn't work even yeah. with the the mighty brain that is Kanye yeah. West, he's behind a it. insane. But I think he he's, actually is insane. He literally he? is yeah. like he's gone pretty fucking mental. Yeah, like I mean, it's great to be insane, but he's like openly insane. <laughs> like, I mean, fame will do that to you, but like, yeah. I don't know. He someone needs to make sure he's all right. He, I think. he actually got diagnosed, didn't he? Like he's. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not going to plant anything on him, but like, mm. good on him if he's taking something for it. Like it helps. Yeah. 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 I had something I was going to talk about. I forgot what it... Oh, yeah, Tidal. Do you know about Tidal? Like the streaming? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you hear all the wacky shit that went on with that? No. Like, he tried to promote it as, like, some platform for, like, purist people who like to listen to the highest quality music, but the people that lis- usually listen to Kanye West have, like, shitty beats set for yeah, like, yeah. extra bass, so what's the fucking point? I mean... In reality, when you listen... Uh, you know what? I'm not going to say that, because I don't want to get shit on. <laughs> okay, but sure. I'm just saying, like... Yeah, I don't think it's the type of music where you'd want you title care experience. About like, yeah, well, yeah. No, not that you don't care. Like, there's people who quite definitely care, but like, there's not an extensive range of instruments and things to like, sort of yeah, it's engulf yourself in. Very simplistic, like yeah, music. Yeah, like if you were like if you if you're really into like classical music, like I'm not really into it, but I do like it. I can see why that would be a little mm. bit better for like title and like yeah. um big band sort of orchestral yeah. whatever stuff like you know sure but like in reality the voice quality is going to be a bit better a lot of rap is just like a stock backing track and then just someone singing exactly anyway, yeah so. yeah i mean there are a lot of artists that do put effort into it but yeah it is like simplistic not that it's a bad thing like you know nah, simple, simple things are great yeah. simple is good but uh yeah like title's actually a really good platform like a lot of the audio file people use it now like they've kind of gone to it since title provide you with masters like they don't give really? you an mp3 that i don't even think they give you like flax even they give you like the master wave files or something holy shit like it requires a lot of lot to stream but it's like uncompressed audio wow so all the audio file people with like a hundred thousand dollar setups use it which is cool but they've done some shady shit in the past like uh they relaunched and it was like a failure pretty much like mm. people unsubscribed after that like free trial ended and then at one point, they just got a charge in their credit card. Oh, nice. And then Tidal were like, oh, yeah, we uh, we had a technical issue and we accidentally resubscribed 100,000 people. Yeah, sorry. Ooh. Sorry. No way we could have avoided that. No, sorry. Sorry. Did they refund anyone? I have no idea. Probably not. Fuck. People probably didn't even notice. Like, I don't notice. Yeah, no, I don't either. My fucking, like, premium Google Premium thing comes out and I'm just like, yeah, okay, whatever. Yeah, it's gone. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's pretty much all I had to talk about today. Just kind of anti-consumerist, kind of shitty practices by companies. Yeah. Stuff that really grinds my gears, yeah. I think. Yeah. It's just, it's unnecessary shit in a mm. world of lots of unnecessary things at the moment. Yeah. Like, if, if like, just, just, just make 
the things that you want to make. Make good products. Yeah. Like put some they don't time into They make them like it. they used to, Jordy. They, you know what? You say that, but they really <laughs> kind of don't. Yeah. Like it's, and uh, just there's there's no harm in just putting some a little bit of extra yeah. effort into it. Yeah. People aren't going to mind if you have to wait a year and seven months for the next iPhone. They'll be fine. <laughs> yeah. Just put like, you know, Mass chaos. do something different. Oh my God. Uh, before don't yeah, make have, a folding phone though. Have you heard about what iPhone like rumors are coming out about the next, well, the iPhone in 2021? No. They're removing the lightning port. For nothing? They're just removing it. No ports in the iPhone. At all. That's, that's rumored by a guy who's been really correct about the rumors. So you just have to wirelessly charge? Yep. Uh, no data transfer, just uh, Bluetooth, just Wi-Fi. Okay. Only, only wireless headphones. No lightning to 3.5 mm. Wow, yeah, after. what the fuck? Yeah. Oh, Do wow. you know what the fucking scariest part about that is? When iPhone got a notch on their phone, what happened? What? Androids got a notch on their phone. Oh, no. So iPhones removed, removed their port. Uh, everyone else. Their to port. be fair, I can <laughs> sort of understand that it's going this way. I, I can't, Jordy. Yeah. I can't. <laughs> I like having ports on my phone, Jordy. I, I do I, too, I'm but just, like... I know I'm kind of the minority in that. I'm kind of... That's a weird, unpopular opinion, Jordy. I like ports <laughs> on my fucking phones. Yeah. I, to the, I'm going to... I imagine, like in a stupid way is going to get to the point where there's just going to be like nothing yeah. anymore. It's like everything's <laughs> it's just be brain implant. Yeah. 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 That'd it's be just kind of cool. You are a phone. Yeah. Yeah. And then you have to upgrade yourself every year. Yep. <laughs> I don't know how you do that, but that's, that's frightening the fucking port thing though. Isn't yeah. It? Yeah. This I'm guy, trying to like validate it and I don't know why I did. To be fair, this guy is like, he's 50, 50 on the rumors. Like, I think he's one of the people that predicted the new color of the iPhone. He predicted, Face ID or something like that. Like he, he's he's been good at predicting this kind of shit. But he's fifty fifty, so right. It's twenty twenty one. Well, I mean, I remember it was like when people showed the. Uh, there was a bunch of three D like, um, what are they called? Like examples or whatever. Renders. Renders. That's yeah. the word I was looking for. Thank you. Um, of the new iPhone X, I think it was, yeah. and they were right on some YouTube channel I was looking at, and I'm like, wow, that looks fucking stupid. Yeah. That looks so <laughs> really dumb. Don't. That's never going to yeah. happen. And then they, like, released it like that, and I was like, what the fuck is this, dude? This and looks then, so stupid. And then I bought it, and I was like, wow, this is really nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, phones look kind of stupid when they're, when they're not really popular. And pe- well, it's like the Tesla truck. Yeah. I'm very mixed on what I feel about that. I think it looks very ugly. Yeah. I, I like also... what they did. Like, it's cool that you're going for different, but, yeah. like, you didn't have to go that different. There was a middle ground between, like, making one that yeah. isn't a Toyota exactly. and yeah. a literal, like, Lara Croft fucking one PS1 render. render. Yeah. Yeah. I, l- I love how we both went to the same yeah. thing just then. <laughs> because that's what it fucking is. Yeah. It's like, that. it looks like a low-poly thing. And I feel like he made it as a meme because Elon's oh, a bit yeah, of a fucking memer. Dude. And, like, it's really, really cheap, though. Is it? It's forty thousand dollars. Jeez, it's probably not going to be that in Australia. It's probably going to be like two hundred thousand Australian. Well, you know. maybe like, the, say if it is literally from USD to American, it's yeah. about double, pretty much. Yeah. Like at that point, like eighty thousand yeah. dollars for a fully electric. Oh yeah, like top of the line, top of the line technology kind like, of thing. Can literally like I think well, <laughs> they have fixed the windows. Did you see the little thing oh, where yeah. they threw they, the? They yeah they. Apparently, what happened is that they just didn't have the right windows in it or something. Yeah, like, it was like, said. it was a, like, but even still, like, it didn't even break that. What the hell is going to be throwing at your, like, window? Yeah, exactly. Why do you need that in what, the first place? I mean, place? if you, if you were going super fast and you crash into something, yeah. that could save you or kill you if is, you went right into yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. Like, the more firm and harder glass is, like, the more it will impact on you. That's why glass is, like, tempered and it crumbles into tiny pieces so yeah. that huge shards don't stab into you, like glass yeah. kind of has to be fragile in a car so. yeah, yeah. It'd be interesting to see once like they uh go into production and stuff seeing like every now and then one car that hasn't rendered properly yeah out okay, in the sure. wild hasn't popped in yet yeah exactly there's not I think in your there's, render distance there's been a couple of sightings of elon and a couple of other staff members on the road and it just looks it, sticks it looks out. so dumb it's it so big yeah. it's so big yeah it like barely fits into a um i think i saw like a picture of like a regular sort of parking space and it only just yeah. fits in it like it is a monster the funniest thing was uh 
there were like prototypes. Like uh, Elon tweeted, "What does the prototype of the Cybertruck look well, like? Now, like? Is it a fucking rectangle?" Elon tweeted a picture of like the front of it in a shadow, and then people started like tracing around it to try to figure out what it looks like. And those look so much fucking better than what I, it actually turned out like. This looks stupid, but I'm I'm gonna show Geordie a picture right now. Oh wow, that would have been better. That looks fucking stupid, but yeah. it looks better. Yeah, that looks because there's, there's like there's some actually yeah. some fucking detail on it. That's like, why. Basically, he tweeted a picture of the front of it, like that light bar, and then people like started drawing around that, trying to figure out what it would look like. And it looks... the reason it came out like that, yeah. like if you want to look it up at home, I don't know what what did you search? Uh, Tesla truck prototype. Yeah, look that up, and you'll see like a lot of them are like rounded with yeah. proper like. Um, or just Tesla trays truck. and stuff in the background yeah. and all that's like in the back not in the background yeah. um like because that's what you would expect it to look like yeah you would expect it to look like a normal vehicle exactly but it's... i i feel like the reason it's forty thousand mm. dollars is because they must be able to just like fucking like 3d print this frame or <laughs> yeah, something it, like it, it is so easy to make like sh- that that has to be where they're saving the money yeah like it's it wouldn't there's not many like Edges it is and shit. It's almost like a rectangle. Very simplistic. Like it just, you know, there's no no really it's too smooth edges simplistic. or anything. It's just hard like edges. that's why it looks stupid. It is yeah. too simplistic. Do you know what frightens me about that? Like imagine that crashing into you. That'd fuck Sharp you up. fucking corners. Like that'd fuck. Is that gonna you pass up. safety ratings? I don't think they're sharp corners. They're like sort. They're sharp corners, Jordy. I'll really? show you the picture. I might not be remembering. They're it fucking properly. like P- PS2 fucking polygons sticking out there. Oh shit! Those yeah. are oh sharp. Oh my god! It, at the corners as well, like impact Whoa, points. Oh yeah, I didn't Those realize are fucking that. Fucking sharp. Gee. And that's, had... that won't make it past like. Yeah, the AMCAP rating. Yeah. Did you notice anything as well? Like, look at the sides of the doors. What's missing? Yeah, there's no mirrors. Yeah. Yeah. What the fuck? Like, and the back is so big, it'd be the fucking... Well, I think... Like, you don't need mirrors necessarily. They make it safer, but... A lot of cars these days, I know, like, my my parents' car yeah. has, like, this thing where in the mirrors, it has, like, a little light to show if someone's beside you. Oh, yeah, a little so proximity So it probably thing, just has, yeah. like, that, but... Teslas I, have that, they have radar, like, built... I mean, if, actually, you, if you're in a Tesla, you're not driving yourself, let's be honest. Where are they, where are they putting sensors in this thing? I'm not sure. Tesla uses radar, and radar can't, like, go through metal. I don't know, well, maybe it's not metal, maybe it just looks like metal. <laughs> I if it was so. metal, it'd be fucking heavy. Yeah. yeah. Like it's oh, pro- I, I think, yeah, they did say they were using, like, three different materials or something. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, Tesla's... You, wow, this uh, that would be a great car for them to release. Holy shit. That looks that's great. That's a cool-looking car. I just found a picture. It's from Inversotel Electric Pickup Trucks, and it's, like, a Tesla prototype. Looks great. Just looks yeah. like a, you know... Just looks a, like what you would expect. <laughs> lifted pickup with, a, you know, smooth edges and a Tesla symbol on the front. Yeah. I yeah. think that's a good place to wrap this yeah. up for this one. A lot of tech and nihilism and shit. So. Yeah, a little n- somewhat nicer ending to the uh, shit that like, <laughs> yeah. uh, we had Scary at the start. Shit as well. um, <laughs> just remember, as we go, everyone's listening. You're not safe ever. Nope. And um, you're going to die. All right. See you next week, everyone. Okay, thanks. Bye.